If you're frustrated with your bunker shots of duffing them, thinning them, just not having confidence, I'm gonna give you a really easy technique to get the ball out closer to the hole all the time. And it's so much simpler than what you're trying right now. I'm just gonna show you quickly one of the reasons why you're inconsistent out of the bunkers, whether it's slightly damp sand, whether it's really dry fluffy sand or compact sand. There's adjustments you need to make as far as how much you're using the leading edge digging into the ball or where your stance is. But I'm just covering a overall method here. And one of the major things that I see with people struggling out the bunkers, and to be honest, I had to remind myself of this technique just a couple of days ago. And that's why I was like, I need to do a video on this. We don't want this leading edge of the sand iron to be digging in too much, okay? That's what causes too much sand to happen between the ball and too much energy going down. And that's when you end up with the chunk. So then you're like, okay, crap, what do I do next time? So you try and help it up a bit more to stop it digging into the sand. And what ends up happening is you'll sort of tilt back a little bit too much and you'll catch it thin this way. Even if you just get a little bit of sand and the ball's gonna go rocketing off. So we want to try and have a nice controlled balance of sand, okay? That the club is gonna slide under with authority, with consistency that we can sort of predict most of the time, at least for like a stock shot. I'm gonna show you very quickly why the low point control gets messed up, but how to fix it as well. If we see from here, what can happen is we're trying to either help the ball up by sort of moving off and lifting it up this way, or we end up sort of digging down too much here, kind of staying down, but all my energy is kind of here or digging down too much. It's those sort of different techniques that we see. It's throwing the hands this way or lifting up this way, just being too tentative. And some of that happens from the setup. A typical bunker tip that you've heard is to stand open, okay? So you, your feet are aiming left, your club face is aiming at the target, which is fine in a way. But what I don't like for many people is it changes the energy that you're putting into the ball. You're kind of a bit too passive, trying to either help it up or there's just not enough commitment into it or we're standing open and the hands get pushed forward and we dig down like this. And you're like, well, I'm standing open. What I want you to do to improve your method, your reliable technique is I actually want you to stand pretty square. And if you want to pull that right, your trail foot back just a couple of inches. So it almost feels now that my back is to the target a little bit more. It doesn't mean that I don't have the club face open, but my club face is actually aiming a little bit right of the flag. But my intention and my path is going to be towards the flag. So it's gonna have very little effect. And I'm gonna show you a really neat thing from there in a moment, but the sensation I want you to have is we're not trying to use the hands as much. We're going to actually feel that we're sort of winding up and getting our back to the target a lot earlier and a lot more committed to it. So you can almost see that I've got a full swing by about here. And it's because I've pulled this back and I'm turning and winding up this way. I'm not trying to just pick up the hands. Everything is almost going around me this way. And what is that purpose? It's because from here, even if you just stand up and feel this for a moment, it feels like I can attack the back of the ball, the sand, with authority but I can accelerate without losing my posture too much, without manipulation too much. So it's this feeling that I can commit down and have that reliable strike and low point. So I shut the feet down. I feel like I'm keeping my sort of chest up and then my chest down a little bit more. And it doesn't mean that I stop here, okay? If I accelerate enough, the gravity and the momentum is going to pull me through. So I do finish nice and tall, but I don't want you to worry about that too much just now. I want you to have a nice balance set up, feeling behind the ball, and we're going to wind up and accelerate through. What's gonna happen is gonna give you a much more reliable, consistent strike. We want to have the sternum, the top of the grip, and the club head pretty much in a straight line, because that is where I'm going to have 
a reliable low point, okay? I don't want the hands too forward. I just want everything in a nice, simple, natural, straight line. The club hanging, the club feeling heavy, my arms very supple. And then I'm going to allow my back to turn to the target and accelerate down, releasing the club back to its straight point and then through. I'm not holding on to it. I'm allowing the club to be pulled through. But one of the best benefits of this type of setup, when we have tendencies to help it up or we're just a bit tentative in the bunkers, we can often move off the ball, which is fine for drivers. We do want a little bit of shift, okay? But if we move this way, look what's happened. My low point has moved all the way back here. So I might, I'm exaggerating. So I'm either gonna hit it here if I don't adapt, or I have to time it to lunge forward, which again, is more movement, which is harder to predict, which is gonna create more variables in your type of strike. So you can't judge things quite as well. So this setup helps you stay a lot more centered. And that's what I want you to feel, a lot more braced on this front side. Almost like 70% on the front side. I'm not leaning forward. It's like I've got a wall here, but there's a, a flagpole going through my head, out of my spine. And I've got the ball, pretty much sort of a club head within my left foot but the club is straight, my sternum is above the ball, and now I'm gonna turn behind and accelerate through. It gives you such a different sensation, but it's so much easier. There's the technique that I want you to apply. Feel like you're using your bigger core muscles to make that backswing, less fidgety with the hands. Try that setup tweak, try that technique, and if you wanna really get really good at bunkers, check out this lesson, because it's gonna give you the secret sauce that's extremely simple for distance control. See you next time.